Hey, my air sign friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your January 14th, 2014, or 2014, January 14th, 2019 love reading. This is for um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, your first card out, the Ten of Swords. Ouch. Next card, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. The death card comes out next with the knight of cups and the hanged man followed by the eight of wands in reverse the emperor and the two of wands your guys's bottom of the deck and shared energy is the seven of pentacles clarified by the king of wands and the knight of swords my goodness what do we got you guys are feeling very tired, um, wondering when all this is going to end, wondering uh, why, what you did to deserve this, um, why somebody would do this to you. Let's start with your bottom of the, or your shared energy. Um, so you or your person or both of you are um, planning, planting your intentions, um, making it known to yourself and to the universe what you want out of this um, lifetime. Not only letting them know, but you're doing all that you can do to make it a reality, to bring your dreams to, to you know, the surface, to bring your dreams and put them to work for you. Um, this is being patient, being patient with somebody else, being patient with yourself, being patient with the healing process. Um, you could be being patient on a fire sign. Because there is um, some heavy fire sign energy here. Uh, but it's just being patient on finding somebody who is passionate about life, passionate about you, um, gaining a sense of stability again, uh, living your life with passion, not caring what people think um, or say, uh, just really going in your own direction and having a plan in doing so. You are letting your passion lead your way. And, and you're looking really good. Your vibration is raising um, for you air signs a lot. You guys are really coming out of a cycle in your life um, where you're kind of just like throwing your hands up in the air and walking away, walking your own path, moving in your own direction, tired of fighting for everything you have to have, tired of everybody around you fighting for you, fighting for your attention, fighting for you to do something for them. Um, you're just tired. You want to live your own life on your own terms, and you're going to do that. Somebody is coming in very quickly today. Could be um, bringing you a message. Could be um, bringing you the truth of something that's going on. Um, but this is a positive. I feel that this person coming in really quickly today and out of the blue, unexpected. This is this is for the positive. Um, this person is good for you. This the message that they're bringing is good for you. Um, whatever this person is bringing in is exactly what you need at this time to make your dreams come true, to, um, be able to bring what can't be seen right now, your dreams, your wishes, your wants into the reality and, um, be able to work on them, uh, in the physical. So, like I said, you guys are ending a major life cycle right now. Um, I know this is just major arcana and usually major life cycles are the world, I don't care. This is a major life cycle for you. A major life cycle doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, like a big topic. This is something big for you that you had to get over. Personally, it took a lot of time and energy and work to get over this. This was hard for you. This is a big accomplishment for you. This is a job well done for you. And um, no matter what anybody says, this was one of the hardest things in your life to get over. This was somebody who betrayed you. This was feeling like you weren't enough. This was is getting your self-confidence back. This is so many things wrapped up in this one little card that you had to you had to transform. You had to, in order to heal these hurts, you had to become a totally different person. And somebody could say to you, you know, you're not who I thought you were. You're what happened to the old you? Well, they're only saying that because they can't run all over you anymore. The old you is gone. You're now standing up for yourself. The old you is sure of their self, sure of their decisions, sure of their choices. 
you're right. I'm not the old me anymore. I'm better. I am somebody who is proud of myself, who will stand up for myself and will never find myself in the position of laying down and letting you hurt me the way you did. And that is a very powerful and very, very inspiring for this group of you. You are enough. That is important for somebody to hear because you're feeling like you're not. And that's not true. Um, you're about ready to uh, set set out on the, you know, the, the dawn of a brand new day. The sun is coming up for you and new things are coming in. Um, it wasn't the right timing before. It, it couldn't come in for you. Something was blocking this person from returning to you. And it's because they were a page. They weren't mature enough for you. They weren't ready for you. You were not ready for them because they they weren't, the two of you just were not ready to be in a, a situation together, a relationship, because the vibrations were off too much. But they are coming in now as a king. They went from a page to a king. And now this is what you deserve. This is the person that you needed to be. Um, this could be you. You could have fire in your chart and um, you you needed to be this person before you could move forward in a relationship. It can go both ways. But um, either way, somebody's looking fabulous and you're either on the giving or the receiving end of that air signs. So that's awesome. Um, you guys could have a lot of options right now. You could be a little bit confused on which direction you want to go in. Um, you could be confused on the way somebody approaches you, I'm seeing. But um, deep down, you know in your heart who you want to spend your life with. This is your seventh house and your house of partnerships. Um, you do know who you want to make this love offer to, who you want to receive this love offer from. You know who it is. Um, even though uh, somebody could be intentionally confusing you, you're not going to let it shake you. You're a new person now. You have a new confidence. Um, it wasn't time before, but it's time now, and you know exactly who you want. The person that you are dealing with, uh, they were also going through a death process. This is like a minor arcana death process to me. This is purging and releasing what hurt you of the past. This person was going through a spiritual rebirth. This person was going through a spiritual death. Um, they had to get rid of things in their life. This person had a lot of growing up to do, um, a lot of things to deal with in a hurry. A lot of things came at them fast. They could have like one thing after another, after another. And these can be vice versa, as we know. And they just thought like every time I'm about ready to stand up from being knocked down, somebody knocks me back on my ass. And it was just leading them to this uh, this period in their life where they had to, to allow things to go. They had too much energy in their space. And it was causing them confusion as well. So it was time for them to have this rebirth, this spiritual transformation. And this person is coming out more sure of their self than ever. This person is coming out of that death process and moving right into the Knight of Cups. They um, are coming out of a time of confusion, a time of struggle, a time of a dark time in their life, um, a hard time in their life. And they are exiting the death process, um, moving into their spiritual rebirth and coming out sure of themselves, sure of their love, will, um, having enough to give to somebody else because they were rejuvenated in this time. They were um, spiritually, uh, their cups were filled back up. They were drained before. They were tired before. Um, but now they know what they want. And they are going to come after it. Um, they also, uh, they were enlightened. They were uh, in this time of the spiritual rebirth, in this time of this death process for the two of you. Um, they, they started looking at things in a different way. They could have been taking life for granted before, taking people for granted, taking situations for granted. Um, but when they started going through this rebirth and their so-called friends or their family that will always be there, blah, blah, blah. When they looked around and nobody was left, nobody was standing there waiting around to help them. Nobody was, um, who said had their back was there to help them. And they realized that you would have been that only person that could help them through that. You would have been there no matter what, but they had already 
thoughts. They had already deceived you and they, they instantly had regret when they realized and looked around them that there was nobody, there was no way around. Their only person that um, really truly had their back, they had already stabbed. So they were seeing and uh, viewing things in a different way. They still are. But the beautiful thing about this is every day at the end of the day, they step away from the world. They take a look around and they really take stock of what they have and what they want and what um, is divine, what is truly divine in their life. They've been awakened and enlightened to what, what life is really about, what matters in life. Um, things come and go, people come and go, what really matters to me. And, and they're being enlightened to this divine connection. And that is a very, uh, it's a very mature thing when every day at the end of the day, you can take a step back and take stock of what you truly have in your life, what's real in your life and what's an illusion. What, who really is here for you? What do you really have? Because at the end of the day, you have yourself, your spirituality. What else do you have? This, that's what this person is realizing. They're like enlightened every single day. They are like, they are ascending very, very high. After they went through this death process, they are at a spiritual level that, um, that almost takes my breath away. It's that strong. And they want to share that with you. They want to give that to you. They're scared though. They, they did the damage and you're not going to want them back. Um, there is no communication at the, at the time being. Um, you guys are not talking. This is a couple in separation. And um, you guys both know that you are each other. Well, you knew from the beginning that this was your twin flame soulmate. They were awakened to that um, information after this uh, rebirth. But there's still no communication. This person is scared to reach out. They're scared to reach out in fear that you're um, not going to forgive them for the fights. Forgive them for... Um, whatever happened in the past that caused this deceit, this betrayal. So they are, they're a little bit afraid to communicate with you or you to them. Cause like I said, this can be vice versa, but, um, you could be dealing with an Aries. Aries is so strong in this reading right here, Aries or Sagittarius, or you have that in your chart, or that's the energy that they are exuding. But, um, this is, this person now has a grip on life. They now know what they want and this person is about to go get it. The emperor doesn't just sit by and wait for things to come to them. They go out and get, they go get their dreams. They go get what they want. They go get whatever it is that their heart is set on. They make that theirs and they are going to come forward. Um, yeah, very soon they are, they are, and you are both at a crossroads. You are um, wondering, should I take a path with somebody else? Because you do have options here. You have other people in your space that um, would love to be with you. Um, so you're um, contemplating, do I want to uh, move forward with somebody new? Or do I want to uh, wait and see if this person will return? Because I know that the energy between the two of us we could change the world. We could conquer the world. We could make the world our, our own. Um, but there's a fresh new one right behind you, a fresh new opportunity, a fresh new outlook on life um, to where possibly you could uh, make this successful. But really what you're holding out for is communication from that person you're in separation from. And you're looking out wondering, where are they? Are they going to contact me? Do they want me? Are they going to come back? Are they with somebody else? You have all those questions in your head. And um, they're thinking the exact same thing. They have other opportunities as well, but they're looking out thinking, will they forgive me? Will they give me a second chance? Because that's who I want to move forward to. I want to go. I want to travel the world with this person. I want to make this world our own, but will they choose to take that other uh, wand and walk with me in passion and truth and clarity and love? And uh, that's where you guys are ending the day at. You're both ending the day thinking about each other, thinking about where's this going to go. This is also beginning to manifest. Um, the two of wands is, is setting your intention on what you want. And then the three of wands is manifesting it into your reality. Well, you're planting your seeds. You both are. You're both deciding that this is worth it. This is what we want. 
there's been a lot of hurt in the past, but we're willing to let that go and move forward. And this will manifest into a relationship again. But today, at the end of the day, you two are both thinking about each other, thinking about communicating with each other, thinking about how you, to go about this, how to make this real. And, um, and it's going to be very successful. This is going to be a relationship that manifests very quickly. It's going to come in very fast. But right now, it's just not divine timing. It's just not quite there yet. Um, but this person is sitting here waiting for you. You could be um, the one with lots of options and confused about who, who to choose. And they're just sitting here waiting, um, knowing that this relationship is divine. This relationship is going to come back together. And I will sit here and wait for this person. Um, I will continue to live my life. I will continue to... Uh, live with passion and truth, but I will still be holding my hand out for this person when they choose to move forward with me. That's all I got for your water signs. God bless. Or air signs. Sorry. Air signs. You could be connecting with a water sign though, because I was looking at Knight of Cups, but you're living in your emotion. You're really confused about your emotions, but they're waiting. They will wait. They are in a high vibration, living in a divine manner, waiting for you to realize that, that you guys are going to conquer this world together. It's a very beautiful energy. This person loves you like the ultimate love. So go get it. All right, air signs. That's all I have for you guys. I will see you next time. God bless.